Alright, what's up, what's up, Human Tribe? I'm here today to do a tutorial on getting subtitles in different languages into your videos, which could definitely not only boost your viewers, but allow your content to be accessible to people around the world. Also remember, sometimes you like to definitely have videos in your language, but in other countries, especially where English is the predominant language, they do look for subtitles at times. And since YouTube no longer translates things into other languages for free, uh, they t have a tendency not to find those subtitles unless you paid for them. This was also a very big thing um, for me to find out completely how to do. And because it was so difficult, I decided I'd do another tutorial because I really didn't find a tutorial on the internet that was concise enough, not only because YouTube has changed some things, but it seems like most people, you know, were just trying to fly through it and get some clicks or whatever. So. Again, this is a big push to your business. This may take a second, but I would spend that time. I'm going to let you know exactly how to do it properly, so that way you don't screw things up or skip some steps. First and foremost, uh, let's look in here uh, into YouTube. Now, YouTube obviously makes uh, captions for all your videos automatically. And this is just something that I believe personally that they use for themselves to basically go over your content uh, to see if it's relevant. Um, and also to, so basically YouTube has these algorithms, right? And sometimes people wonder, well, how, if I put like keywords to things that I'm not even talking about inside the video, how they know that I'm not talking about those things. And they know though, they know that because potentially the caption search, also the caption search will, if you're playing music, it will capture the, the actual words to the music and that will also set off a trigger that you're actually using somebody else's music in the back of your track. So they use these captions for a lot of other stuff that's not related to anything they want us to have. Uh, but however, since they do have them, they also decided that they would let us use, uh, that they would make them available for obviously the hearing impaired. So I'm going to jump in here real quick to YouTube just on a regular page. Um, and I'm going to show you that there are captions that are auto-generated for any video. Let's just go to my page uh, because if videos were also uploaded like a long time ago, then they have a tendency not to have any captions on them anyway because YouTube just started doing this. So let me get out of studio. This thing keeps wanting to take me in studio. And this keeps this is generally what the bigger problem is, is that YouTube changes things so much that and they have so many panels and so many features and so many things they want to continuously build on to every single day, it makes it very difficult for you to find out where certain things are. So we're going to actually open up this podcast that I recently did. And uh, in this podcast, I've already taken these subtitles and I've translated the subtitles into different languages. So when I go here and let's see, is that the transcript? Okay, so this is for the live video transcript. Let me see where these subtitles at. There they are. So you see this stuff gets all over the place. And again, it's just confusing. So that's why I'm doing the tutorial. So notice here, when I click on this HD button and I go um, uh, under the HD settings button, and then I go under subtitles, I now have subtitles in Chinese, English, Spanish, and then the auto-generated version. So this is what we want to do. We want to add these Chinese subtitles and Spanish subtitles because notice, notice if I turn these Chinese subtitles on, and now I play, and let me say I go in the middle of my stuff. video, voila, I got some Chinese subtitles. And, and again, because these are auto captions, they're not going to always be way, like, so let's say, perfect. Uh, but they are good enough for a person to get the gist of what you're saying. In fact, if you remember when you were younger, you may watch movies that were completely in another language. And if you were watching that movie, you can kind of get a gist of what a person's saying. But of course, that would be if they're using images. In this case, since there's no images, but it does serve somewhat of the same thing, that if they can read almost every other word, or even better than that, maybe 80% accuracy on these captions, then they will learn what you're saying or know what you're saying. So these captions are probably about 80% accurate, somewhere in there, 85%. So it's not 100%, but it's good enough, especially since it doesn't cost you anything. And that's another big thing. Actually getting captions translated into languages, even the native language that the video was spoken, is expensive. Uh, I've looked over that for years, and I've got different softwares that do it, especially those that go into o Adobe Premiere, et cetera, and you pay, and it sends it up, and it comes back with almost a 90%, 95% accuracy, even when it's machine learning doing it, but it still costs. This is free, uh, and you can take advantage of them. So let's go ahead and get into the process of how to get these, these titles, uh, subtitles into another language. 
So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to studio.youtube.com. This is going to make things very simple as far as finding where you what you need to find or else you're just going to be surfing through the front area and you're never going to find this area here, okay? So this is obviously YouTube Studio, and so it's at studio.youtube.com. So the next thing that you're going to do is actually click here on the left, subtitles, okay? Because you can find subtitles individually in each video, but it, again, it starts taking you around the forest, and you don't get to where you what you're looking for. So I'm working with right now the Secret Energy Podcast Episode 7, since I haven't added any subtitles to that yet. So we're going to use that. And what I've done is obviously I've just clicked on that. And now I'm looking in here. <clears throat> and you see, even the screen is actually appearing different than what it appeared even just 30 minutes ago. So this is, again, you know, the process. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a language right here. So we're going to say we want to add a language. In this case, we're going to add Spanish. Actually, I'm going to add Chinese since it's here. So I'm going to add Chinese. I'm going to confirm that. I'm not going to make this the default language of my channel. Also, who knows what that would do to your reviews and everything. So I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to confirm that. Okay, so now I've added Chinese subtitles. It's, you're just going to leave that there. I'm going to add another language. This is the main page I was actually trying to get to. And um, I'm going to add Spanish. Latin America. Okay. And let's see. I guess that I'm just going to work with those two. Okay. <laughs> All right. Parenting. And so uh, let's see here. Let me refresh. So we have Chinese subtitles that they're asking to add, and we have Spanish subtitles that they're actually asking to add. And I just want to also, uh, before I start downloading anything, as far as subtitles are concerned, is I want to actually edit the first few lines of the subtitles. It looks like I'm popular right now because I want to do this video. So I'm going to start editing the first few lines of the subtitles because what happens is obviously in your video, sometimes um, it the subtitles won't be accurate. And the worst thing is to have that as the first lines that you have, mean the first thing that you have coming up in your subtitles because somebody's from another country, they say, well, let me try to understand this. They listen to the first 30 seconds and they're reading, to the, reading the subtitles and all those are wrong. It seems like in these subtitles, the first ones have a tendency to be wrong first. So you can actually go in here and you can edit them. So let me go here and as you'll see, I'll be able to scroll up to where the video starts, where I start talking. And if I click on this, it'll actually take me there after I hit the edit. So I'm going to hit the edit. Also, all of this moves really slow, so, you know, just be patient with it. I'm going to uncheck pause video while typing once it loads, just so I can get the words in there really briefly. Obviously, you can actually go through this whole thing, and if you have a short video, you can edit your own subtitles, which is awesome, because then you can make it 100% accurate. You can also even invite others to assist you with editing the subtitles on your video, um, which is another option that we'll see here in a moment. So, okay, so now it's loaded. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn off uh, pause video while typing. We'll click up here. We've got to go all the way back again because it keeps wanting to go to where I left off in the video. So I'll click up here, and now I'm here, okay? And so I'm just going to listen to what I'm saying. This says, all right, so we begin the same stream again. I stopped it, started again, we're going to see. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. All right, so we began the stream again. I stopped it, started it again. We're going to see what happens with YouTube. That's what I'm saying. We need to start using our own stuff. It's unfortunate. Okay, so this here, is pretty good. We're going to see what happens with YouTube. So if you just want to, I was saying that, so I, that's how you would add that in here. And so this one's pretty clean. Like, But again, this is the due diligence that you want to do. You want to come in, and before you download the, the actual subtitles, you want to make some edits here first because you want to download the subtitles that have your edits and trying to actually find some editing software for subtitles and all that. You'll just be up a whole nother river. Okay. So this is good enough for me. The first 30 seconds is what I'm really checking for. It sounds good. So I'm just going to say publish edits and what's going to happen now. And this is where one of the confusing points comes in at is that What's happened is, is that YouTube is not going to let you overwrite their subtitles. At least it didn't let me do that on the last one when I tried this. 
And so that one is called automatic. And as you see here, it says automatic. Okay. So that's YouTube's generated subtitles. So if you've made any changes and you download the automatic one, you won't see subtitles with those changes. You actually have to download the one that you just created, which is always going to be in the native language and it's not going to say automatic. So in this case, it's just English. So when I click on that, you'll see how that this is the one that I actually ed edited, right? And um, now what I'm going to do, since this is the one that I want, is I'm going to go ahead after it loads, and that takes a moment. Patience is a virtue. Some may have already clicked off the video. Oh, I'm gone. You know, that's the ADHD. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll probably be able to handle a little bit of this in post-production as far as cutting down some of the time. Okay, so now it's ready. It's loaded the subtitles again, and that's what you're really waiting on. It's, in this case, got to load one hour and 41 minutes of automatic subtitles, right? But now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to the actions. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to download the SRT file, okay? So I'm clicking this, and it's already downloaded this SRT file to my downloads folder, and I'm going to put it here on my desktop, but I do have it right here. And again, that's in English. The next thing is, here's where the, the magic sauce comes in, is that I'm going to go to saeedgakbar.com forward slash projects forward slash DST. And let me go ahead and uh, put a text file up really quick with that. And I'll also put the link in the description, but I just want to make this direct for anybody just watching the video. Let me go here. All right, so you see that? SaeedGakbar.com forward slash projects forward slash DST. That's what I'm looking for. And when I do that, I'll be bought here. And uh, this is the most proficient one on the web. I've searched for a couple hours. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that SRT file that I just downloaded in English, and I'm going to just drop it right here. Boom. Okay, it's that easy. And now what it's going to do is, of course, it's going to bring me back all of the information, and the most important part is all the timing is correct. So I will let you know that if you're doing this to a live video, because you can also do this to live videos, it's best probably that you, uh, if you're going to do any trimming or anything, you do all of that first so you don't mess up your times. You do all that in YouTube first in studio, and then you, I think it will regenerate the subtitles. I didn't actually try that myself, but it probably will regenerate the type subtitles in a certain period, maybe a few hours. And then you want to download it then. Uh, so if you're going to do any trimming, definitely do that before you do this because your times will more than likely be off. But in this case, I didn't have to do any trimming. So my timing is on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this since Chinese is already selected. But what I'm doing is, is that Google Translator and a few others being Yandex and Badu are here. I'm using Google Translator and I'm saying I want Chinese simplified, right? And in this case, I'm going to then just go to, actually, I kind of got to toggle that. So t Chinese simplified. In fact, let me just reload this page. Or excuse me, no, I don't. No, I don't need to do that. Let me just go back up to the top. Okay. You see this thing can be a little funny sometimes. So I'm going to go to Spanish since it's playing around with me and I don't got time for that. I'm going to hit Spanish real quick. Okay. So it's making that translation. Now, here's another thing. You need to scroll all the way down. Again, you know, this, this is a little, little process, but not as much as the potential of what you can do with something like this because I have all of these languages that I can translate my video into. Like, it's, it's every major language on the planet I can translate this video into. Okay, so now that I've scrolled down, and what I'm doing when I scroll down is I'm just making it auto-translate everything. I'm going to make sure there's no more English left. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to click Save As. And what it's going to do is it's going to download a Spanish file. And so I now have that Spanish file here. And the easiest way to see it is that it'll have this ES on it. Okay. And so now I'm going to go back to YouTube. And I'm going to go back to my video, which is here. And actually, I'm going to go to the studio again. Okay. Because I got all my languages added. I did all that. Now I need to go back to the studio because this is not where... I oh, actually, excuse me, it is here. So I can go back to this page 
This is Secret Energy Podcast Episode 7. So now I'm going to add the Spanish subtitles, right? So that will be right here. So I'm going to click Add. I'm going to wait for a moment. And then I'm just going to upload the file. I'm going to click Upload the File here. And then I'm going to wait. This does take a moment. Fools rush in. So do wait on this because there's going to be a prompt that pops up. This is another pitfall. If you start touching stuff in here, you're just going to have to go out and come back in. And that's even if you figure out what's going on. Actions will give you all the, all the options, but you see how I waited for that and finally it came. So I'm clicking choose file. And in this case, I'm adding my Spanish file right here. Okay. And then now when I upload this, you're going to watch the process, and now I have Spanish subtitles inside of my video under that Spanish option, okay? So now that's loading, it's working, Spanish is there. Now I'm going to click publish. And by the way, all this came about because one a good friend of mine was like, hey, you know, he doesn't speak much English. He was like, man, I really would love to learn what you're saying, but you're talking so fast. It would be great if I could just have some subtitles or something, so... Now that sub those subtitles are there, okay, cool. So now we're going to work with the Chinese, and hopefully my video doesn't fall apart at this point. So I'm once again, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on New. I'm going to bring those subtitles back in, that original file, not the Chinese. I'm going to bring in the original English file, and then, of course, I'm going to select up here to change this in Chinese to Chinese, Chinese Simplified. And then I'm going to wait for it. And there it does. There it goes. And I'm going to scroll down so it makes those changes. You see, it hasn't made all those changes. But as I scroll down, you'll see, okay, bam, it's making all those changes. Okay. So now this entire transcript is changed. So now I'm going to click Save As. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to save it in Chinese. Now I have it in Chinese. I'm going to go back here. This, oh, not here. That's not what I'm looking for. Not here either. Let me close this. Let me close this so it's not confusing. I'm going to close this one up because this one's already done. I'm coming back here, and this one's done too. And so I'm going back to that original page that I had open. I'm going to Chinese, and I'm going Add. And then I'm uploading the file. I'm waiting for it. I'm not getting impatient. I'm not clicking on anything because I don't think it's loading. It's a one hour and some odd video, so all the time syncing has to take place. And then now when it's done, drum roll. <laughs> there it is. I'm just clicking choose file. I'm grabbing that Chinese subtitle file that I downloaded, and I'm putting it in. Upload. And it is in there. That is amazing. To be honest, j to have something like this, like I said, whether you're, you know, using this because you made a video in another language and maybe you have a native speaking language that you would also like to translate it into. Maybe you want to share your knowledge or your information with the world. Whatever is the case, this will work for that. And you have these subtitles. They're good enough. People will learn what you're saying or what you're talking about. And also... You could start advertising on your video available in Chinese. You can put that into your, 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 your text. You can even change your title into that other language and put that title into your video. That also helps you grab uh, those that are searching in that language um, and bring them into the awareness that you actually created that video. So that's it. That's all I'm going to leave today. Wholeness and Balance Vibrations. Check us out on our site, Secret Energy. We're always empowering humanity and creating things that we feel like are needed and uh, just empowering us all to, to work together and to form ourselves in a, in a unity which is unbreakable. So speak soon.